What's up guys? Welcome back to Community TV Tips and Tricks Living Your Best Life. In this video, I'm going to be talking about tips on how to pass the state. Now, what is the state? The state is basically people who come into your facility, um, whether long-term care, hospital, whatever, and then they come and they basically check to see um, if everything is in order so that the nursing home can continue um, running their, you know, business. Um, if they find a strike, they can strike the nursing home, they could come back, make sure it's corrected, or if they get three strikes or something, something along, on the, along the lines of that, they can close it down even. So it's very important that you guys know what to do when the state comes. They can question you as a nurse, they can ask you, um, hey, can you do a med, let's do a med pass together, I want to see how you do meds, I want to see how you do treatments. Um, they can ask you all kinds of questions. Um, so this video is going to help you guys navigate the state. I know a lot of people are nervous there during that time so if you guys are interested stay tuned okay guys so quick Funny fact about me, I've never experienced the state. Yes, out of all my seven years of nursing, I've never experienced the state. I've always dodged them by either not working for that facility and working for like another facility at the same time who has passed the state, or sometimes I would work night shift because it's very, very rare that the state comes during night shift. So right now in the facility that I'm working now, the state is due to come this month. But for some reason, they're taking a long time to come. So I got a few tips, like a lot of tips actually, from my supervisor on how to pass the state. So the first thing I want to give you advice on how to pass the state is to breathe and to look like you know what you're doing. So from my, from what I've heard, like if you look like you don't know what you're doing, like you're scared, like nine times out of ten they will come to you. So I'm not saying look mean, but I'm just saying like look like you know what you're doing okay don't look scared look like i'm ready for any questions you ask me if this if the state asks you something make sure you get back to them if you don't know something don't say oh i don't know just make sure you say i don't know your answer to this question right now but i'm going to find out for you and that is a major advice i want to give you guys is to make sure if you don't know a question you get the answer and you go back to them and then you answer their question when you're first coming in like you have to know certain stuff like they may ask you what do you guys do what is your policy when there's a fire so depending on emergency your facility you could use ours or race or whatever you say hey we have an acronym and this is what we do when there's a fire that's the extinguisher those are the exits sometimes they could ask you um well who's your dns who's your this who's your that so make sure you kind of know a few people that are very important in your facility the names of them and like how they can be contacted uh, you don't have to memorize like, exactly the number but like you should know like where you can find certain information checking the crash cart so when you guys first come in of course you guys know you have to check the cash card they may check it for you they may go and check it without you knowing so like you guys know like one of the first things you do when you are about to begin your assignment is that you're going to want to check the cash card check the crash card so make sure your crash card is stocked because they may look at that because that's one of the most important things if something happens in your shift if somebody codes like you're going to want to make sure that they know that you your crash card is set and you've checked it and there's usually a little book by the crash cart where you check it. When you guys are giving meds, I know some nurses, like, you guys could have a habit of, like, like doing your own thing. But just remember, when the state is here, like, you really have to. In general, you're supposed to do it all the time when you're working. But especially when the state is here, like, make sure you read over how to properly give meds. I don't care how long you've been giving meds. Some people pick up bad habits and, you know, so make sure you know that every med is... Like depending on your facility, everybody's different. Every med is given in a separate cup. You have to, you know, your triple checks, washing your hands right before you enter the patient's room, using the hand sanitizer three times, or you guys could 
correct me if I'm wrong. But like I said, every facility is different. Using hand sanitizer three times before you finally wash your hands or wash your hands if it's soiled. One of the things that they like to test people and nurses too, I'm telling you, is washing your hands. How long you're supposed to be washing your hands. Um, they look at your technique, how you're washing your hands, like stuff back to nursing basics. Nine times out of ten, they're going to che check you on washing your hands, guys. Do not underestimate that, okay? How you bring the medication to the patient. Like, did you knock the door? Did you introduce yourself? Um, did you put the eye drop in the right eye? Like, stuff like that. Like... Um, how many time? How many minutes do you wait before you administer the next eye drop? Like so, for some facilities, it's five minutes. Some facility is whatever minutes. So you gotta have to, you have to know that. And um, like inhalers, like how many minutes do you wait between each puff? Like yeah, they check those things. So um, or giving injections. How do you give those injections? Or when you're pouring a liquid like you know you have to do it like at eye level right you have to bend down and see it you don't hold the liquid you place the liquid on a flat surface and then you're watching it so stuff like that they're gonna see how you're pouring your liquids um you know making sure that your your water pitcher is dated so they're gonna say oh is this water expired um open your cart okay usually nine out of ten when the state is here like your facility has like a code like dr yellow's in the house like dr yellow dr yellow open your car like is all your medications labeled with the correct date is all your insulins not expired and labeled the correct date and you could be like well i wasn't the nurse that was previously working i just took the car it doesn't matter they look at you and they're like well you're the nurse and you're supposed to know if you took the keys you're supposed to know that your insulins are expired or your heparin is expired or your medication like guys just do yourself a favor and don't stress yourself and just make sure all of those things are labeled so um so yeah so that's my advice make sure those things are labeled if you know like they say if they say dr yellow dr yellow's in the house guys get all your most difficult patients out the way when i mean difficult i mean especially behavior like if all your patients that give you the most challenge out of the way first okay and then leave all your easiest patients last so that if they come and they ask you like can i see a med pass you can just use your easy patient as an example and then like get that over with b2s make sure you know how many cc's of water you give in between each medication according to your facility the flush uh, make sure you have your stethoscope. I know sometimes if you work in a nursing home, like some some nursing homes, like some nurses don't really bring their stethoscopes because they don't really use it. But make sure you have your stethoscope because they're going to want to see that you're auscultating for bowel sounds if the patient's on G-tube or if the G-tube is in the correct placement. So make sure you have your stethoscope. That's part of looking like, like, hey, I know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, well, so you're not going to listen, you're not going to listen for that bowel sound? Like, where's your stethoscope? You want to take a manual BP, like, they could ask you a lot of stuff, so make sure you have your proper equipment, make sure you have your stethoscope. Make sure, like, certain things, like eye drops inside the cart, your eye drops are separated from your inhalers, and your liquid medications is separated from your solid medications, that the, in the liquid medications, like, make sure the mouth is clean, and they can still see the label okay make sure you always have a sharpie with you so that you could date uh, medications throw away expired meds in certain facilities insulins and eye drops should all be in their separate bags they shouldn't all be in one big bag they should be in their separate bags treatment cart should be separate from your medication cart infection control make sure the treatment cart is not right next to the medication cart infection control last but not least just have confidence breathe and know that you've got this um i feel like if you guys follow these tips you guys will be fine but if you're like me and you're kind of like chicken and you're like i don't want to really experience state working the night shift for that month or whatever that they're expected to come sometimes they think their time coming because they know you know they're coming so work the night shift or you know if you're working agency just work for another facility in the meantime but i think like at the same time you really shouldn't run away from stuff like that don't don't do what I say now as I do and just see how the experience to say for yourself if anybody if anyone has experience to state leave your comments down below how did you do how's your experience and how can you help someone else all right guys so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you later bye